Oh, hey, what's up? What's going on? Joe, what, what are you doing? I'm just checking in your car, man. Making sure everything's okay. Hold on a second. That is a spray can in your hand. That's, that's, that's fix a flat, man. I'm checking on your tires. Sorry, it's all good. Listen, go, go enjoy. Go enjoy. I'll talk to you later. Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, I just removed all of that graffiti on there. I'll get him back, you'll see. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We've got a part two to the RGT Rogue Territory jacket that you've seen from the trailers in No Time to Die. There's been so much excitement around this. Hundreds upon hundreds of people have ordered the jacket from a really uh, incredibly sincere company. We loved Carl. We spoke to him on the phone. We've been uh, interviewing him and speaking to him. He's become part of the Bond community. How do you like that? Well, one of the things that Carl and I were talking about is the fact that the actual uh, costume designer ordered both larges and extra larges for Daniel Craig and the stunt people. Kind of interesting. So knowing that I'm wearing this medium right now, I really liked the fit of the medium. If you remember, I'm a 40 up here, 31 here. I like the way it fit from the side. And by the way, I've been wearing this quite a bit. So that kind of crunchiness, I mean, look how well it's moving now. I've, I've worn it in the car. I've worn it everywhere. That is the trick when you get this jacket is to wear it to death and it becomes incredibly soft. I love my medium. To me, it fits incredibly well, but I thought to myself and so did Carl, what would a large look like on me? Because in reality, the extra larges that the production had were tailored down for Daniel Craig. He's really wide up here. I'm not that wide. Hashtag Bond 25 Fitness Challenge. I am trying. But he's much wider. So they whittled it down. They actually took it in around the sides and around the back and took that large down to fit him in the shoulder. So I wondered to myself, what would a large fit like? And lo and behold, Carl actually sent me a large to try on. Now, why are we doing this? Well, this is all really to find out what is the best fit. Oh, what? You didn't know that this was his screen accurate t-shirt that he wears underneath? Yeah, because he's not in the office yet. He's out of the office trying to get his Aston Martin back. That's all there is to it. Hold on a second. So here, like magic, is our large. So if we take this large, we know that a couple facts about this large. First of all, it's gonna fit differently. But also, I know your psyche. What's gonna happen is you're gonna put it on and you're gonna to start to evaluate. For example, what type of movement does it have? What type of fit? Let's button it up and see. And mind you, this is not broken in yet. This is all to help us really kind of explain and tell what is the best size for you if you're going to invest in this jacket. All right, so here we go. Here is the large. Now, I like the large. It, uh, let's get up and close. It fits well in the shoulders. It actually, even though the, the trailer is so quick and you don't see it uh, very much in the trailer, you can tell that his shoulders are fitted out like this. They kind of splay out, so do mine. And it's not as tight, it's not as fitted as my medium. That's a good sign. The arms, the arms are a little long. They're just a slightly long for me. And the arms tend to move. Now look at this. This large obviously moves with me very well because I've got all this extra room in there. It's not fitted to me like I like most of my jackets. And I think the length is pretty good. It might be a shy long, but here's, here's my problem. The body itself to me is just a little bit large. It doesn't give that Daniel Craig, James Bond kind of V that I would be looking for. That kind of gives this rogue territory jacket that kind of badass look. So we're gonna do something. We're gonna actually take this large to Steve the tailor, my local tailor. He's amazing. And he's going to make the same adjustments that we believe they made for the film, which is to take it in a little bit on the sides, take up the arm sleeves, make a couple adjustments here and there. And let's see what type of jacket this looks like after a large becomes a tailored large. So stay tuned for that.
And with the help of Movie Magic, we are back. That was Steve the Taylor that you just saw doing all the different notes on changing this large just a little bit, tweaking it to make it a little bit more movie accurate. And here it is. By the way, Steve the Taylor did it in 24 hours. He got it turned around. So holy cow. And thank you, Steve. He's amazing. All right. Let's talk about what he did exactly. He didn't touch the shoulders. So let's get up and close and personal. Shoulders are still the same. He didn't touch the chest. He took the sleeves a little bit. Remember how long the sleeves were? Now they are not long. Now they're also not incredibly short. So one thing I didn't want to do was to have it like riding up like this. And then I look like a comic from the 1980s. No, it's still fine, but they are a little bit shorter. Um, hopefully this is kind of what the costume designer would have done, but let's take a look at the body. So what Steve did was he simply opened up the side seam on both sides here. And what he did is he contoured the jacket, almost like you would to with a blazer or a suit jacket. He contoured it so you could see my, my chest right here is untouched. It still has that large fitting, but right here it has more of a medium fitting because he brought this in almost like a funnel. He pulled the fabric together and what he did was he gradually gave this that fitted look towards the bottom, almost like you would if you were to take a pair of pants and streamline them down. He did the same thing to this side as well, which obviously starts to give a more fitted, flattering look. Not a ton of fabric anymore, but certainly not cinched or overly skinny. So what that does is it gives us this look now. But before this large was square. I mean, it just went straight down. Now you can see on the side, look how well that fits. I'll kind of do one of these things so you can see really well. It's not billowing out. I don't have tons of fabric, but it's also not cinched on me either. You could see this from the side and then even from the back. By the way, still has, look at me go, I'm dancing. It has lots of really good movement still, which is what I wanted. So this large was taken and made a little bit more screen accurate just by fitting this down in this region. And you can see that it's not pulling or anything along those lines. The large is looking like it does in the trailer. So there you have it. First of all, I want to thank Carl from Rogue Territory for supplying the large, which I think looks really good tailored and really made it a very interesting thing. At the end of the day, the one I think I'm going to be grabbing is my medium. I know that the large fits really good in the shoulders and gives me that extra room, but the mediums become a part of me. Is it weird that I'm drawing a emotional connection to a piece of fabric? Yeah, but that's what we're all about, right? Anyway, uh, I also want to thank Steve the Taylor for helping me out with this and everybody else. This has been a part two, but we had to show you this because this is a journey, isn't it? It's a journey to find not just the right piece of clothing, but to make it a part of who you are. This has been David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience, and we'll see you real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.